Welcome to Educational Hub. Here, we dive into innovative tech solutions and in-depth tutorials that elevate your experience with Apple products and beyond. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question. Can you effectively use a 12 terabytes iCloud drive with the base model M4 Mac Mini, which comes with just 256 gigabytes of storage? The short answer, absolutely. Stick around as we walk you through a step-by-step -step process to make this possible without spending a fortune. Introduction. The base model M4 Mac Mini is widely celebrated for its value. Equipped with Apple's cutting-edge M4 chip, it offers robust performance capabilities. However, its storage, a modest 256GB SSD, often leaves users wanting more, especially those with substantial iCloud drive libraries. Imagine trying to sync a massive 12TB iCloud drive on this base system. It might seem impossible at first glance, but with the right approach, it's entirely achievable. Today, we reveal how you can make it happen seamlessly and affordably. Understanding the challenge. Apple's iCloud Plus subscription offers up to 12 terabytes of storage, an enticing option for users who manage large files, projects, or media libraries. However, the Mac Mini's limited internal storage often forces compromises. While Apple's Optimize Mac storage feature helps by storing frequently accessed files locally and others in the cloud, it doesn't support offline access for all files. Apple's suggested solution is to upgrade the internal SSD, but this comes at a steep price. Why pay hundreds of dollars for extra storage when you can achieve the same functionality for a fraction of the cost? A practical workaround. The solution lies in combining iCloud Drive with external storage. By setting up your iCloud Drive to sync with an external SSD, you can bypass the internal storage limitation entirely. Let's dive into the step-by-step -step process. Step 1. Prepare your Mac. Before you begin, configure your Mac to avoid interruptions during the setup process. Adjust power settings. Go to system settings and search for energy. Enable the option to prevent your Mac from sleeping when the display is off. Additional configurations. Enable power nap to ensure your Mac stays active and ready for synchronization. Adjust lock screen settings to prevent the display from turning off while inactive. Step 2. Create a secondary user account. A secondary user account is crucial for managing your iCloud drive efficiently. Navigate to System Settings, Users and Groups. Add a new user account and select Administrator as the account type. Name the account, e.g., iCloud Sync, and set a password. Enable fast user switching for quick transitions between accounts. Step 3. Move the home folder to an external drive. Relocate the home folder of the newly created user to an external SSD to maximize storage capacity. Choose an external SSD. Use a reliable drive like the Samsung T7 or a budget-friendly SATA SSD with an adapter. Format the drive. Open Disk Utility, select the drive, and format it as APFS with a GUID partition map. Name it something memorable like iCloud Storage. Set the home directory. Go to Users and Groups, access advanced options for the secondary user, and change the home directory to the external drive. Restart your Mac and log in to the secondary account to complete the setup. Step 4. Configure iCloud settings. Sign in to your iCloud account within the secondary user profile and optimize your settings. Enable iCloud Drive and any other essential services. Disable non-essential features like mail, contacts, calendars, and messages to conserve resources. Testing and verifying the setup. After completing the setup, test its functionality. Add files to the iCloud drive and verify that they sync seamlessly to the external drive. Switch between the primary and secondary accounts to ensure smooth transitions and uninterrupted file access. Cost-effective storage options. This approach is not only effective, but also highly cost-efficient. Consider these options. 2 terabytes SSD, approximately $90. 4 terabytes SSD, around $180. 12 terabytes external drives, available at competitive prices, significantly cheaper than Apple's internal storage upgrades. Benefits of this approach. Flexibility. Upgrade your storage capacity at any time without being tied to Apple's fixed configurations. Cost savings. Save hundreds of dollars by opting for third-party external storage. Future-proofing. Expand your storage as your needs grow. Reliability. External SSDs, such as the Samsung T7, offer superior speed and durability compared to Apple's internal SSDs. Conclusion. 
By following this guide, you've unlocked the full potential of the base model M4 Mac Mini, enabling it to handle even a 12 terabytes iCloud drive effortlessly. Say goodbye to Apple's pricey storage upgrades and hello to a flexible, cost-effective solution. We hope this tutorial from Educational Hub has empowered you to make the most of your Mac Mini. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth tech tips and tricks. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Until next time, happy computing!